Welcome. Here in Atlanta, Canada, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in her lifetime. The first thing we can all do to protect ourselves from this disease is to have a regular mammogram. Mammograms can find small abnormalities long before you or a doctor might feel them. But current statistics tell us that many women aren't having regular mammograms. You may have your own reasons why you feel you shouldn't or can't have one. And what we're hoping to do in the next few minutes is show what happens during breast screening and give you the information you need to take the first step and book your appointment. Booking is easy. In most provinces, there's a toll-free number you can call. You can also contact your local health authority to find out more about screening services in your community. In some cases, a mobile screening van may travel to areas where regular screening isn't available. Here are a few tips to keep in mind before your appointment. Don't wear deodorant, talcum powder or lotion around your breasts. These products can show up on your x-ray. Plan to wear pants or a skirt. You'll need to be naked from the waist up for the screening. If possible, it is best not to schedule your appointment just before your period. Your breasts are more sensitive at that time. Hi, how are you? Good, yourself. Fine, thank you. You must be Christy. I am. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. After checking in at reception and before your screening, the technologist will ask you a few questions about your breast health. Thank you very much. Okay, so Christine, do you have any family history of breast cancer? No. Are you using any estrogen? Right no. Now? Great, okay, that's it for questions. Good. Just pass this over. Most mammography technologists are women. You and the technologist are the only ones that will be in the room during your mammogram. Mm -hmm. Lift up underneath. You have to lean into the plate and let your shoulder relax down. Good. Okay, so you're going to feel the pressure come down along your chest wall. To start, the technologist will place your breast on an x-ray plate. A plastic compression plate lowers to flatten the breast. This is done for two reasons. First, it ensures the breast remains still, and second, it prevents blurring on the x-ray and helps produce a high quality image. Many women are concerned that this part of the procedure will hurt. It can be uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt. The compression only lasts for about 20 to 30 seconds before the plates are raised and your breast released. Good, okay, Christine, that's gonna lift and let you go. And just take a second for me to see that picture. The compression is then repeated from a different angle and another x-ray taken. Good. Okay, so we'll do the second picture. I'm going to turn the machine up onto its side. This allows the radiologist to see the maximum amount of breast tissue as well as the lymph nodes in the breast area close to your underarm. I'm just going to come up and lift your arm. Head right in and over. Right there. Perfect. The entire procedure is repeated for the other breast. Perfect. Okay, that's great. And now we'll do the second side. In all, two pictures of each breast are taken. A technologist is not able to give you the results of your mammogram. Their role is to capture good images and note anything on the outside of the breast that may interfere with the reading of the images later, such as moles or scars. When both breasts have been screened and the technologist is satisfied with the images, you're free to get dressed and leave the clinic. The whole process will have taken about 15 to 20 minutes. That's pretty quick for something that could save your life. A radiologist will then carefully examine your screening mammogram images and determine what your report will be. Having regular mammograms allows a radiologist to be more accurate and to detect smaller changes because they will have previous mammograms to compare to your most recent images. Approximately two to three weeks after your appointment, you'll receive a letter from the screening clinic with the results of your mammogram. At this point, you'll learn one of two things. You may receive a notice that no abnormalities were detected on your mammogram. If this is the case for you, there's nothing else to do until it's time to book your next mammogram. Many screening programs will even remind you well in advance of your next due date so you can book early. If something was detected on your mammogram, the radiologist will recommend that further imaging is necessary. You'll receive a notice saying that an abnormality has been detected and that a diagnostic workup will be booked for you. You may need a breast MRI or a core biopsy. Let's be clear at this point. The detection of an abnormality does not necessarily mean a diagnosis of breast cancer. Of the 20 to 40% of mammograms that need further testing, most of them actually turn out to be normal. In fact, out of every thousand women screened, only five will have breast cancer. The final report from your diagnostic mammogram will go back to your family doctor. You should then follow up with your doctor to discuss the report. I hope you've answered your questions and that you'll book your mammogram today. I go for breastfeeding because I know it's the right thing to do and because early detection saves lives. 
Remember this, a woman's best defense against breast cancer is regular screening. So if you're eligible, don't wait any longer to book your mammogram. You may save a life, your own.